the Speak Out Africa Initiative has launched a survey after the controversial presidential national assembly election and the three cases that follows it, including the ongoing judicial case at the appeal court tribunal, where candidate uh, application and counter application are taking place, as well as INEC varying requests. Order. This survey is to gauge the vote beat of Nigerians with regards to their voting behavior and likely participation for the gubernatorial and state assembly elections. This is expedient because the way a man and election is conducted, that is the adherence to its process, and the event which follows after, that is its management by the electoral umpire, has huge direct impact on voter participation. Thus, we are committed as an organization to safeguarding the participation of voters in an election. To us, whatever that we create voter party is an enemy to democracy and should be confronted headlong. Today, the presidential national assembly election conducted on February 25 by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is widely adjudged as most controversial by available reports, both from local CSO and international observers, as well as majority of citizen voters. Unfortunately, this was supposed to be the freest, fairest, most credible and acceptable election in the history of our dear country, Nigeria, considering the huge investment made by federal government and stakeholders, especially the civil society community, who had labored day and night against all resistance to ensure the passage of the 2022 Electoral Act. In addition, INEC assurances and integrity promises, such as technology innovations like bimotor voter accreditation system, BIVAS, which was to perform two key functions, which are voter accreditation and electronic transmission of result upload direct to INEC IREF portal, real time, deploying of well trained INEC staff to man the BIVAS machines, secure and dependable logistic plans on election day, as well as other credible election enablers. Sadly, irregularities, logistic lapses, inadequate trained ad hoc staff, as well as perceived breach of trust on the part of the electoral empire INEC is at the center of discussion today. Irregularities, it had a lot of issues, and Nigerians are scared, Nigerians are confused on what to do if their votes actually counted. But we are here to say that the votes counted, our votes counted, our voices were heard, okay? The fact that we came out to vote, it's actually um, an act of patriotism, and we are grateful for that. And we are saying that come March 18th, we should all come out and vote. We should not be scared because Beavers actually worked. Although it had some malfunctions and um, oh some God issues, goodness. but it actually worked. And so come March 18th, we should all come out in mass. We should all come out and vote in our respective states for our choices. Because if we stay in, we cannot actually come out and complain that our choices or our, our voices were not heard. The only way our voices can be heard is only when we come out and actually choose what we want, actually choose who we want to lead us. So this is calling on all the youth, all the young people to not relent. Rome was not built in a day. Nigeria would not get to that point where we're expecting it to be in a day. It takes process, it takes time. And so we cannot just do it in one day and decide to relax. We have to decide to be consistent about it. And so come March 18th, let's all come out and vote so our choices will be heard, our voices will be heard. Thank you. We notice a lot of um, difficulties in accessing. One of the challenges, especially at my polling units, were was that election, I mean, electoral materials didn't get to our polling units in time. We had issues with um, getting um, um, security agencies on ground. Even when the election started, it started almost at noon with limited time. Though, and at some points. The materials were not really sufficient. 
these are some of the issues we, we encountered at our polling units, and we hope that INEC at, at the forthcoming election will do something about that. Things as little as ink pad were issues at some polling units. There were issues of ballot snatching and violence in various locations, and so far, I don't think there has been any arrest made on anybody so far that has engaged in any form of election violence in the past, um, in the just concluded uh, presidential election. So we are calling on I